It's your mother. Or at least, it sounds exactly like her. She's frantic, her voice cracking with panic, telling you she's been in a terrible accident and needs you to wire money to an account right away for medical Here's bills. the problem. She gives it you wasn't her. You've just been tricked by a computer program that learned to copy her voice from a 30-second clip it found on her social media page. Imagine this, you're at your desk, trying to figure out why your printer only works on Tuesdays, when your phone rings, it's your mother, or at least, it sounds exactly like her. She's frantic, her voice cracking with panic, telling you she's been in a terrible accident and needs you to wire money to an account right away, for medical bills. She gives you details, the street corner, the make of the other car, it all sounds real. So, you do it. Because it's your mom, and you'd do anything for her. Except, here's the problem. It wasn't her. You've just been tricked by a computer program that learned to copy her voice from a 30-second clip it found on her social media page. That is the gut-wrenching, personal truth of AI fraud. This isn't some far-off, made-up story from a movie where robots have taken over. It is happening right now, today, on August 8th, 2025. This invisible enemy doesn't wear a ski mask or carry a weapon. It works through fiber optic cables and computer code. It's a danger that gets around our normal security systems by going after the one thing we're all open to, our own feelings. The panic you feel when someone you love is in danger, the trust you put in your boss's voice, or the simple wish to help. These are the very things AI-powered scams are made to use against you. They don't just hack your bank account, they hack your heart and your head first, making you help them ruin your own money. The situation with the fake phone call feels very personal because it is. It plays on the deepest, most basic connections we have. For generations, we've learned to trust what we see and hear. A familiar voice, a loved one's face on a video call, these have always been what we rely on to know what's real. But artificial intelligence has thrown a huge digital wrench into that system. Suddenly, the very things we count on to check the world around us can be made up with scary accuracy. The scammers aren't just stealing money, they are slowly breaking down the trust we have in what we see and hear, making us second-guess every interaction we have. And this isn't just about one upsetting phone call, this technology can grow. A scammer can do this exact thing thousands of times a day, going after countless families at the same time. While you're still shocked from thinking your mother was hurt, the scammer has already moved on, using their AI to call another hundred parents, grandparents, and children. The speed is shockingly evil. It's a high-tech trap for our deepest worries, and the people behind it are getting better, faster, and more believable every day, turning our most cherished relationships into possible security risks. So, what exactly is this digital monster? At its basic level, AI fraud is using artificial intelligence to trick people, usually to get money. And its most famous or rather infamous example is the deepfake. The name itself sounds like something a teenager would name their terrible rock band, but what it means is anything but funny. A deepfake uses a type of AI called deep learning to look at a person's face and voice from existing pictures and videos. It can then make completely new video or sound making it seem like that person is saying or doing things they never actually did. It's like digital puppets, but instead of a sock with googly eyes, the puppet is your boss, your spouse, or even the president. The danger of deepfakes is how shockingly real they look. Early versions were a bit clumsy. You might notice a strange flicker around the eyes or a voice that sounded like a GPS that had been gargling rocks. But the technology has gotten much better at a scary speed. Now scammers can make a deep fake video of your company's CEO telling the money department to make an urgent secret money transfer. The video looks real, the voice sounds real, and the request seems to come from the very top. By the time anyone thinks to double check, the money is already gone, moving through a maze of untraceable crypto wallets. 
It's a company robbery where the getaway car is a computer program. And it's not just about faking important people. The technology is also being used to make fake audio. Scammers can copy a voice from just a few seconds of sound, a clip from a voicemail, a video posted online, anything. They then use this copied voice to call family members, as we've talked about, or to approve fake money transfers over the phone with a bank. Imagine a scammer using a copied voice to get past a bank's voice ID security system. The very tool made to protect you is used against you. It's a perfect, mean circle of digital trickery, where the proof of who you are becomes the way you lose everything. Beyond the fancy video and voice tricks, AI is making more traditional scams much stronger. Think of those phishing emails you get, the ones with bad grammar and weird links. Now imagine an email made by an AI that has looked at all your public information. It knows your job title, your co-workers' names, the projects you're working on, and even what you like to do for fun. It Explore, can write a think, feel, live. Welcome to Explorer, a channel where I dare to ask, discover, and reflect on all that life has to offer. Here I talk about spirituality, science, history, emotions, technology, culture, mysteries, and the human experience. Every video is a door to new ideas, deep questions, and moments that transform. If curiosity moves you, if personal growth inspires you, if you long to understand the why behind things, you are in the right place. I create videos that connect knowledge with life purpose. New content every week. Subscribe and ring the bell to join this community of curious minds. This is Explorer. Do for fun. It can write a perfectly believable email seemingly from your IT department asking you to click a link to update your security info. It will be perfect, made just for you, and completely fake. The days of laughing at a Nigerian prince's spelling mistakes are over. The new prince has a high-level degree in language and knows you just bought a new brand of coffee. Perhaps the most unsettling part of this whole mess is how surprisingly easy it is to get your hands on these tools. You might think making a deepfake needs a supercomputer and a team of smart people in a secret hideout. Nope. The truth is much more ordinary and frankly more pathetic. There are now many apps and websites available online, many of them free or very cheap, that let anyone, and I mean anyone, make a deepfake in minutes. You don't need to know how to code, you just need to know how to drag and drop a photo. We've basically made it easy for everyone to create believable lies, putting a weapon of mass deception into the hands of every small-time scammer, angry ex-employee and bored teenager on the planet. This easy access has turned the internet into a minefield. The difficulty to become a skilled scammer has been lowered to almost nothing. A person with a grudge can make a fake video of a former boss saying something that would ruin their career and post it online. A scammer in a call center on the other side of the world can copy your voice and use it to empty your life savings. This isn't just talk. Some professionals are reportedly already using digital copies of themselves, AI avatars, to sit in on boring online meetings. It sounds harmless until you realize that same technology can be used to pretend to be someone in an important negotiation or a legal hearing. The speed at which all this happens makes it incredibly hard to fight. In the time it takes for a company to realize a fake video of its CEO is going around, it could have already been seen millions of times causing the company stock to drop sharply. The damage is done before the truth has even had a chance to get ready. Even experts can be fooled by the best of these fakes, at least at first. For the average person who is already juggling work, family and trying to remember their Netflix password, spotting a clever AI fake in real time is an almost impossible task. We are being asked to be digital detectives in a world full of fake evidence. This creates a chilling new reality for everyone. For individuals, every photo you post, every video you share, becomes possible material for someone to use against you. For families, the sacredness of a loved one's voice is no longer guaranteed. For businesses, the chain of command can be taken over by a single, well-made piece of fake media. The risk is no longer just about losing money, it's about losing control over who you are. Your face, your voice, your good name, they can all be digitally taken over and used for things you can't even begin to imagine, all thanks to tools that are as easy to use as a photo filter. 
The biggest result of AI-powered fraud is much more than just losing money as an individual. It's actually the breaking down of the most basic part of a working society trust. What happens when we can no longer believe what we see and hear? If any video can be faked, how can we trust news reports? How can a jury trust video evidence shown in court? The very idea of real proof starts to fall apart, and we are left in a state of constant uncertainty, a feeling some call reality apathy. When everything could be fake, it becomes easier to believe that nothing is real, or even worse, to only believe the things that support what we already think. This isn't some far-off future. This is already starting to happen. Political campaigns have already seen deep fakes used to create misleading videos of opponents. Imagine, for example, the night before an election, a fake video appears showing a candidate admitting to a terrible crime. Even if it's proven false a few hours later, the damage is already done. The seed of doubt has been planted in millions of minds. When trust in our leaders, our institutions, and our media disappears, it sets the stage for chaos. Democracy relies on a shared set of facts, and AI fraud is like a hammer hitting that very foundation. The effects on our personal lives are just as dark. Think, for example, about trust within a family. What happens when a teenager can make a fake video of their mom or dad giving them permission to do something they were not allowed to do? Or even darker, what happens in a custody battle when one parent fakes a video of the other being abusive? The potential for emotional destruction and lasting harm is huge. Our relationships are built on a foundation of trustworthy communication. AI fraud turns that foundation into quicksand, making us question the truth of our closest and most important connections. This breakdown of trust in society only helps those who are cynical and corrupt. It creates a situation where being held accountable becomes impossible. A corrupt official caught on camera taking a bribe can simply say the video is a deepfake. A CEO whose company is exposed for bad practices can dismiss the evidence as a clever digital fake. When a lie becomes as believable as the truth, the truth loses its power. We risk entering a world where facts don't matter, and the only thing that matters is who can shout the loudest or create the most convincing fake. It is, honestly, a grim outlook, and we are heading there fast unless we act. Well, after all this dark talk, you probably feel like throwing your smartphone into the nearest volcano and moving into a cave. And while that sounds tempting, caves have excellent temperature control, it's not the solution. There is hope, and it's not in some new magic technology, but in the oldest computer we have, the human brain. We have the power to fight against this wave of digital tricks, but it needs us to be more careful, more doubtful, and more thoughtful in our digital lives. The first and most important step is simple check and then trust. If you get a panicked call or a strange request, Hang up and call that person back on a number you know is theirs. It's a simple, low-tech solution for a high-tech problem. Second, we need to be more careful with the digital footprints we leave behind. Every photo, video, or voice note we post online is possible material for a scammer. Think of it like digital DNA. The more you share, the easier it is for someone to create a complete and believable copy of you. This doesn't mean you should delete all your accounts and become a digital ghost. It just means being more aware. Maybe set your social media profiles to private. Think twice before posting that video of you singing karaoke. Limit what you share publicly, and you'll limit the ammunition you give to the bad guys. It's about building a digital fort around who you are. We also need to demand more from the tech companies that created this problem in the first place. They have a duty to build better tools for finding fakes and make them widely available. If AI can be used to create fakes, then it can and should also be used to find them. We must push for clear rules for marking AI-generated content so it's immediately clear when something isn't real. Companies, governments, and researchers must be in a constant race to stay ahead of scammers, closing gaps, and building defenses as fast as threats change. We, as consumers and citizens, have the power to demand this. Ultimately, our best defense is our own critical thinking and human judgment. An AI can copy a voice, but it cannot copy a life of shared memories. It can fake a face, but it cannot fake a real human connection. We need to relearn to pause, to question, and to think before we react. 
we can choose to be thoughtful in a world designed to make us act on impulse. The invisible enemy of AI fraud may be clever, but it is not unbeatable. If we are smart, doubtful, and remember that the most important connections we have are not digital, we can navigate this new world safely and make sure our humanity remains our greatest strength. If this content made you think, please support it with a like, leave your comment with your opinion, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Your support helps us keep exploring and sharing.